Hello, this is Paul with Logics, your self-taught tech magazine. Today we're going to talk about the Internet of Things. Yeah, I know, kind of a crazy name, right? Internet of Things. I once was told by a teacher in grammar school that there are no such things as things. There's nothing that is a thing. But in today's technological world, apparently... That teacher was wrong. There are many things in this world. And we're going to talk about how to connect them uh, today. What's really important is, regardless if you're in design or programming, integration, any level of engineering, management, this is this is growing to be a, a more and more um, of a thing in our lives. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that and show you uh, what I mean by that how the internet of things already is affecting your life and how what it is and how it works and more importantly how you as somebody who is self-taught can pick up this technology and begin to uh, 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 integrate it into your skill set and into your client base into your workplace in your home um, this is the wave of the future it's not going away it's it's a booming market and I'll tell you this is a great um, I'm gonna share with you something that you can you can begin working with this weekend if you want you can buy some small devices and go ahead and get implementing it and once you once you understand how to integrate that and how to gain value from it it's an easy sell to the right uh, to the right application easy sell we'll get into that um, but before we do if this is your first time here go ahead and subscribe hit the bell um, so you'll be notified every time we put out a new video so let's go ahead and get started right all right so what is let's go back here what is the internet of things the internet of things according to google uh, describes the network of physical objects also known as things that are embedded with sensors, software, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the internet. Now, if we look over here on the left, we talk about connected appliances, smart home security systems, autonomous farming equipment, wearable health monitors, smart factory equipment, wireless inventory trackers, uh, ultra high speed wireless internet, biometric cybersecurity scanners, and the list goes on matter of fact they're they're developing new devices dozens of them every single day so the internet of things let's think about that we're talking about connected appliances um if you got a smart refrigerator my brother has one that that you can watch tv get the internet uh, right on the uh, front door of the of the refrigerator I decided I did not want that uh, on my refrigerator, but he has one. It's very, very cool. He can do all kinds of settings and parameters and, and put the, the soccer schedule on there. It's just some, some really remarkable uh, things that they have on these refrigerators these days. As a matter of fact, you can have um, stoves and, and microwaves and all kinds of stuff hooked up to your um, network uh, it's not just, you know, a laptop or, or a computer these days. It's all kinds of devices that are connected through your home network. Um, and that's kind of what we're talking about. All right. So keep this in mind. If you're a programmer, that is one part of our, of our, of our technology. There's, there's software there's there's hardware and there's the integration of the two of those and that's sort of what we're talking about is, is the integration of the hardware and software all right and then obviously capturing uh that data that we are collecting um and then using that data to make better decisions and that's what it comes down to set parameters and controls and make better decisions so let's go ahead and get started in taking a look at a resource that I found, I think it's really a great one. This may not be the best one out there, but it's one I thought was pretty, pretty cool. Um, it's a good place to get started. So the company is called MyDevices.com. MyDevices.com has a pretty good um, track record. 
They have all kinds of devices for all kinds of applications, and that's what I wanted to share with you. Now, before we get into some of the things, uh, some of the, some more details about this company, um, they let's talk about what they can do. So they have they have predict alert, water saver devices, push to protect, outdoor asset tracking, indoor asset tracking, air quality, gas monitoring, and the list goes on. So there's a lot of things that they can track and that that information, that data can be captured on a laptop, on a cell phone, all right? So that you can have 24-7, 365 um, monitoring of these uh, systems that are that these devices are are attached to we're going to go ahead and get looking into some of that so basically let's let's take a look at how does it work so you, you they have a bar barcode scan on all their devices you scan it you place the device and then you just monitor it it's really that simple all right you can customize uh, do a little customization on on them but you'll set it up uh, start with the gateway or public network, then then add your internet updating sensor to your solution. And we're going to talk, uh, take a look at what those solutions are here in just a minute. Now, before some of the guys, I'm a programmer. This will never be important to me relatively. Look at it this way: in today's technological world, it is a great resource uh, and skill set to have to be able to, as you'll see, what these devices can do. Be able to add this to your skill set add this to your uh, service that you that you as a company can provide as a as a contractor as a freelancer you can add some of these services make a few bucks on the side you can build your whole company around it what I want to do is share with you essentially how to use this technology to grow your your career and or your business um, with this particular skill set so let's get a little deeper okay so let's talk about devices. And unfortunately, my internet's going a little slow today. <laughs> okay, so they have temperature and humidity sensors. Uh, they have uh, GlobeSat push button trackers. Um, and you'll have to go through these. There's just hundreds of them. There's distance and level sensors. Um, there's <clears throat> tracking devices. Um, let's see what else. So we got uh, heat and smoke detectors, um, humidity sensors. And there's ma many more. We'll get to them. Um, different probes, um, CO2 sensors, and it's not just home devices, as we'll get further down here. Um, networking, lots of different uh, capabilities of merging different types of networks from Modbus to Ethernet, for example. Um, so don't worry about that. There's an answer for bridging the, the network uh, protocols that you have already set up. So those panic buttons. Oh, uh, here we have a, a push button. This is a battery-operated remote. You can place this push button. It's a standard industrial-looking controls push button. You can put it anywhere. No wires, no nothing. You can push that panic button or that push button um, and have it trigger whatever it is you want it to trigger. But most importantly, it will alert you that that push button has been been pushed. That's very, very cool, I think. Parking lot sensors right here. Um what else we got? Oh, if it, this is, I thought this would go and build a better mousetrap and you will have an unending amount of business. Well, right here it is, Zignal Rat Trap. So you can track it and it will send you a signal that it has indeed captured a rat. Very cool, as far as I'm concerned. Very cool, very cool. Uh, water leaking. There's, there's a lot of these uh, sensors uh, uh, for temperature and water. Well, a lot of the standard ones. So we got smart plugs here, um, humidity and sensors, um, some more CO2s, and the, obviously there's different places, different applications. Here we got window and door sensors for $69. Um, very simple. Flow meters, soil moisture, humidity sensor with probe. Um, <clears throat> There's just a lot, another another mouse, that one up there was a rat trap, this is a mouse trap. And if you don't know the difference between a mouse and a rat, you will the minute you meet a rat. Um, it's undeniably, they are undeniably different. Um, okay, people counting, for those of you who are still dealing with the COVID 
concerns, uh, monitoring the amount of people in a given space, right? All right, so as you can see, there are just, there are literally tons and tons of applications here. All right, so we got trackers and smart watches um, that, that can be part of the network that your your smart devices are monitoring. Sirens, um, here we have another door sensor, um, water sensors. There's just a large variety of them. Now, mind you, but what did I tell what did I mentioned to you? There's a there's a um, a QR code on these devices. You'll you'll scan that with your phone. You'll um, install the application, scan that with your phone, and you you'll connect via your network to your device, and you'll be able to begin monitoring it instantly. It's really that simple. Now, um, as as a programmer or or hardware integrator. Uh, uh, this would be a great um, a, this is a great resource for you to look at for implementing some device tracking um, and you can obviously obviously get this uh, integrated into your automation or or any kind of data logging application that you want so I think these are this is great it's very simple to uh, to implement and integrate um, into your skill set and or business and that's why I wanted to share with you now let's look at some of the success stories why why this company now they've got big Nick's pizza Jimenez a lot of these I don't know but I don't do know Chick-fil-a Chick-fil-a um, the Colorado uh, Department of Human Services uh, there's a health system here uh, ribs and catering courtyard by Marriott we have a host of great success stories, companies that this company has worked with. These devices are uh, reputable for sure. Now, here's here's a great thing. You say, well, what's what's the pricing? How does this work? So you can have to have up to 10 devices in any of these four network uh, protocols. You can have an app, a connector, a codex, lower network included. You can utilize those and it costs you nothing. Now, they do offer monitoring and and a bunch of other services but if you have a, a small application couple of devices you can implement costs nothing put that on your phone app and you're set you're ready to go get the devices get it set up you're ready to go imagine somebody's home you can get that all set up um, very quickly and bring real value to somebody in their home uh, very very quickly and that's the great thing and basically it's it's the it, i'm hoping to take some of the mystery out of the internet of things for you all right so take a look at this this company is called mydevices.com this is a great uh technology that you can easily uh teach yourself and begin implementing and if you start doing some freelancer contract work you can get this um as a as a side hustle if you want uh, to start making some of that income while you're still learning your craft so until next time this is paul with logics your self-taught tech magazine